here on campus, we're always looking for an alternative to the expensive textbooks that students have to buy. And Charles had a type of course, a type of music fundamentals course that worked very well with the idea of not having to have a, a, a written text for that, for that course. So Charles set out to create his own materials. Many of my students who were taking my classes, they were having trouble paying for textbooks. And so the creation of PowerPoint presentations and creating um, miniature films of music as it moves across the screen, putting all of this information into Blackboard made it more accessible to my students on a free basis. Materials for this class would be somewhere between uh, 50 to 120 dollars for a textbook. Today, my class costs approximately seven dollars. With my math books, I'm spending like $250 to $300 for all my books, and uh, in his class it's super cheap, so it's like you get to take the classes you want to and you don't have to consider the payment cost as part of the reason of not taking it. We're a very visual-oriented society at this point in time, so just hearing the music is not enough. You need to see it move, and that's what I try to do is make the music move. The inspiration was from an old Mitch Miller television program where on television they would put the words of the song on the screen for the audience to sing along and you would have the bouncing ball. And as I play a, a composition through finale, you have this line, the cursor that goes across the screen. And so I was using an old idea from television with new technology. It's a lot easier to get a hold of all the concepts because when you see it on paper and you look at it, if you're new to the whole music idea that when you see a note, you don't know what a C sounds like or B minor. So with that, it's like you can kind of hear it and you see how fast the note should be played. And so it's really helpful. Students uh, really enjoy it. Uh, they, they, it, I think in some ways, draws them in more towards discussion and involvement in the course. And what's really nice is many of the students will beat me to the next idea. I like that because they're thinking ahead, they're thinking faster. When I'm in music class, because I like music, I'm really engaged with what's going on and with the programs and everything, with the music playing, it's a lot easier to pay attention. Your mind's not wandering because you have the music playing to keep your attention. Music doesn't have to be this, this, this huge mysterious thing. It's something that you see work, you hear it work, you can actually do it yourself. And hopefully that is something I can share with future generations.